Now to an Arizona's family exclusive. Road crews are in the middle of a massive construction project on the I-10. You may have noticed the lane closures on the weekends along the Broadway curve. It is a $700 million plan meant to benefit all of us by easing rush hour congestion. But there is something in this project that benefits an out-of-state business. Morgan Loez tonight's Arizona's family investigation. Morgan. Yeah, this construction project is massive and it's a tiny, tiny part of it. Just $9 million that's paying for a bridge that leads to a Major League Baseball spring training stadium. Jeff Caslake is a serious biker. I started bicycling eons ago. He lives in Tempe and rides into Phoenix, but one big obstacle always gets in his way. Interstate 10. The quickest way is to get on Broadway Road and go across 10 on Broadway Road, which is horrifying. Now a construction project that's making I-10 wider will soon make it easier for Caslake, other bikers, hikers, and walkers to get across the 10. Three pedestrian bridges are planned for the stretch of Interstate 10 that's under construction. Do you think that these bridges make sense? I love them. One of the bridges is an addition to the Guadalupe Road overpass, connecting the East Valley to the trails on South Mountain Park. Another runs along the Western Canal near the Arizona Mills Mall. It's this third bridge that's raising eyebrows because of where it leads right into the parking lot of the Tempe Diablo Stadium, the spring training home of Major League Baseball's Los Angeles Angels. The $9 million bridge will connect Tempe east of the freeway to the stadium west of the freeway. I think the Arizona story is typical of the problem with stadiums and sports franchises. Greg Leroy is the executive director of Good Jobs First, a nonprofit that tracks subsidies for businesses. And he says the sports world is showered with perks paid for by tax dollars. Last year, the city of Tempe entered into a new lease agreement with the Angels. The city agreed to spend up to $40 million to renovate the stadium. The $9 million pedestrian bridge is not listed in the agreement. Would you see this and say, that's sort of a hidden cost of a benefit that the team is getting? So in any honest accounting of the costs of an economic development project, stadiums included, infrastructure costs, including walkways over highways, must be included. Uh, that's not just my opinion, that's the governmental accounting standards. Bikes want to go everywhere that cars are going. We're building a system that provides ways for them to do that safely and accessibly. Eric Iverson is the city of Tempe transit manager. He says Tempe has been trying to get this bridge built for more than 20 years. What do you say to somebody who says, well, then this is just another perk for a major league baseball team? Well, what I would say is, is talk to the team, of course, but also it is beneficial when these bikeways, when these corridors connect to major destinations that have a variety of uh, uses there. The Arizona Department of Transportation is paying for the freeway widening project and the pedestrian bridge. 176 pages into this design concept report, we found this statement. It is ADOT policy to include multi-use facilities in major new construction projects when such facilities are funded and maintained by the local agency. What does it say to you that Arizona has this policy to add infrastructure like this near these types of stadiums? It surprises me that the state is making it policy to provide, um, you know, infrastructure for a privately used stadium that happens to be there. Neil DeMoss runs the blog Field of Schemes, which reports on taxpayer perks for professional sports teams. He says projects like this one have almost become expected to the point where sports teams don't even have to ask for them anymore. An infrastructure project that benefits a team can benefit the general public too, right? You know, I mean, something that you can walk to the stadium across, you can also walk or bike across for other reasons. But if you're spending it on that, you're not spending it somewhere else, right? A spokesperson for the Los Angeles Angels said he'd leave it up to Tempe to respond to our questions about the bridge. Jeff Caslake says 
He's still happy the project is getting done, regardless of why it's getting done. If I added up all the spring training games versus all of the days of the year that we all get to use it, I, I don't see it as much of a giveaway. A city of Tempe officials tell us they did have citizen input during the process of approving this project, and they estimate that 150,000 people visit the baseball stadium each year. The city does own the stadium, but it is notable that the owner of the L.A. Angels is looking to sell the team, and that team is said to be worth about $3 billion. I'm Morgan Lowe for Arizona's Family Investigates.